Hello everyone, today we'll be taking a look at the Household Bundle from Hobgoblin 3D. So the Household Bundle is a pack of STLs that you can purchase, download, and print yourself. I picked up this file set for $8.99, though they do often include it with uh, some of their other file packs, so you can get it at a reduced price if you'd like to you know, buy into some of their other sets as well. Included are a large and small table, a lectern, a cauldron, a bed, a sort of fancy chair, and a bookshelf. Also, you get PDFs of instructions for each individual file, which I thought was nice. And they'll give you a really good uh, starting position for uh, recommended settings for printing these. Now, if you're like me, uh, I've been printing for a while now, and I'm, I'm kind of used to what the particular filaments and stuff that I use, like prefer as temperature and stuff. So I did tweak some of that, that stuff. Uh, I printed all these items, for instance, at 190 degrees C as opposed to the 210 that they recommended, though everything else was, was pretty much uh, as written in their PDFs as a guide. As you can see in the close-ups, these files all printed quite nicely. Uh, I'm very happy with the results, and I've actually printed this set of items out quite a few times. If we pull the files into our slicer to get a look at the STLs directly, you can see that these are all nice, smooth files. The tables are broken down into multiple pieces, so they're fairly easy to print and then just throw together with some super glue. And overall, I think it's a very nice file set that's, that's pretty appropriately priced. Now, of course, not everyone has a 3D printer, so there are some other options available if you'd like to have these files but haven't yet uh, taken the plunge into buying a printer. Uh, there's always some of the, the online uh, print providers uh, that I'll link to uh, a few of those below. I don't really have any recommendations because I've never used them. And then you also have places like uh, 3D Hubs, uh, which I personally have a hub. I will have a link to that if anyone cares to get these files printed from me. Uh, and from the close-ups, you, you have a pretty good idea of what you'd expect if you do buy them from me. So uh, that that is always an option if someone's looking to get these items, but like I said, hasn't yet purchased a printer. Overall, I would recommend these files to people. Uh, the, the tables in particular are very useful. Um, some of the other items, like I, I don't really use a lot of those in my dungeon layouts, though they are nice to have. Like the chairs are cool. They're really clean, crisp prints. I think they're, they're fairly well designed. So if you do have a need for something like that, these will be a fantastic option. But uh, personally for me, uh, just for these tables, th they, were, they were enough to, to convince me that, that this is a worthwhile pack. Uh, like I said, I think I've printed out 10 or 12 of these tables already, and I haven't managed to get any painted, but uh, just looking at the models, uh, they're, they're nice and clean, they clean up well, there's, there's no areas that I think you're going to have too many problems with as far as printing or anything like that, so these should be a, a really easy little project for anyone to undertake. So that's pretty much it. Um, I would note that your your experience will vary uh, depending on what printer you happen to have. Like I said, there might be some tweaking that you have to do, though from the little bit that I've interacted with them, Hobgoblin 3D is, is really great with their customer support. So if you do have any issues, just drop them a message on either Twitter or Facebook, and they will more than likely get back to you almost almost immediately. So hopefully this helps some of you out. Uh, if you were if you were thinking about buying any of these file sets, uh, like I said, this one is eight dollars and ninety nine cents, which I think is very fairly priced. Uh, though, if you'd like to buy some of their larger packs, uh, you can get that price down quite a bit. I think they currently sell all of the items in their range, which at this point is is quite a few. And I think that pack is currently at thirty nine ninety nine, which would include this and I think four or five other packs of STLs. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and found the information useful. If you have any questions about anything included in this video, links will be in the description. As always, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel, and thank you to all the Patreons who support me and make this stuff possible. Thanks.